You also want to learn to pay attention to other people's body language. It is a really powerful tool to help you master social situations, to know when to continue a conversation and when to move on. Hello, hello, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Let's go ahead and talk about confidence in social situations. I feel like this is an area that comes up a lot with my clients, especially if they are like navigating their career or maybe dating or trying to figure out how to just present themselves better when it comes to working a room and figuring out a way to do it that feels authentic to who they are, but also that helps them to stand out and be noticed depending on what opportunities they are looking to pursue. So I'm gonna be talking about all the things that you can do to walk in a room, light up a room, the electric, effervescence and have a really great time and feel comfortable and confident while doing it. Hello and welcome. If you are new here, my name is Amber. I am a lifestyle and career coach and also a motivational speaker. I produce a lot of content on this channel about personal development, lifestyle, motivation, productivity, and living your best life. So of course, if that's something you enjoy, and I really hope it is, definitely stick around, subscribe, and join the community. So let's get back into the topic. Whether you are attending a party or a networking event or some type of family social, or even just simply engaging in everyday conversations, you want to have the ability to navigate those social interactions with ease. So in this video, we're going to explore some practical tips and some strategies to help boost your confidence and help you leave a lasting impression. So the first thing that you have to understand is that confidence is the key ingredient in navigating and being successful in, in any social settings. It is not about being the loudest one in the room, but it's about being comfortable in your own skin and using that to connect with others. So one of the things that I do want to acknowledge before we go any further into this video is the fact that everyone experiences social anxiety in a different way and also in different settings and in different situations. It is completely normal, but acknowledging that you maybe struggle a bit socially is a really important step to help you figure out how you can be comfortable in these situations and work the room to the best of your ability. So the goal is to be able to manage it and ultimately to learn how to thrive in all social situations. Okay, so confidence, confidence, confidence. How do we get it? First things first, check out this video that I've made before on Confidence 101. But the specific tip that I want to share for this video is about mindset shifts and how that affects your confidence. You have to focus on your strengths instead of dwelling on things that you perceive as your weaknesses. Remember, everyone has something unique or exciting about themselves that they can bring into an engaging conversation. And you have that as well. So embrace the mindset that every opportunity and every conversation and interaction that you have is a chance for you to learn and to grow, to meet someone new and to build a connection. Adopting this mindset shift is not only going to have a major impact on how your conversations go, but it will boost your confidence, which makes you more approachable. You're not gonna walk into the room with your head down or walk into the room on your phone or, or get on your phone if you feel like you're getting overwhelmed or starting to feel anxious. You can show your confidence and be an approachable and just genuinely kind person. And that is going to draw people in and help you feel a lot more comfortable moving around the room and having various conversations. The second thing that you're going to want to do in order to confidently work a room is to master your body language. So we focus a lot on the actual speaking part of communication, but body language and nonverbal communication is also extremely important. So you want to do these three things, maintain eye contact, focus on good posture, and utilize open stances in order to convey your confidence. So you want to avoid things like crossing your arms. Now this one was so hard for me, which, which I feel like is a major reason why now I use my hands a lot, I gesture a lot, because this was my go-to. Like all the time, my arms were crossed. Now notice, when I crossed my arms, I immediately like slumped over and became smaller. If I uncross my arms, my posture improves and I look a lot more approachable and confident. It can be so hard to undo it, especially if this has just been like a comfort thing for you. But I started with simply like, instead of crossing, I would just hold one arm across or I would do like an arm up here. So small things to start slowly opening up to help me become more comfortable and that helped other people become more comfortable as well. You also want to learn to pay attention to other people's body language. It is a really powerful tool to help you master social situations, to know when to continue a conversation and when to move on. Next up, the third tip is to employ active listening techniques. If you're not listening, it's kind of hard to have a fruitful and beneficial conversation. So try really, really hard to actually pay attention and be engaged. 
Displaying your confidence is not just about talking, it's also about listening as well. Practice active listening by giving your full attention to the speaker. Something, I was gonna say I used to be bad at, but honestly, I'm still bad at this. Like I will meet people and I'll say, hi, I'm Amber, what's your name? They'll say, hey, I'm Tatiana. I'm like, oh my gosh, so nice to meet you. And then later someone's like, oh, you met that person. What was their name? And I'm like, hmm, could not tell you. Because I just get into like this, immediately after I say like, I'm Amber, what's your name? My next thing is like, so nice to meet you. But I haven't really paid attention and like took in the information about them. So that is something that I am personally working on and it's directly tied to active listening. Also, when you're in a conversation, you want to make facial expressions, not in agreement. Ask follow-up questions and repeat key points to show that you are engaged in the conversation. So for one, this is going to enhance your understanding and your recall of the conversation that you had, but it's also going to leave a lasting impact on the person who you were engaging with. And the fourth thing I want to touch on in this video is conversation starters and icebreakers. I use this a lot in my work because especially for my career coaching, I do a lot of group sessions. And so I always want to implement an icebreaker to help everyone kind of feel more comfortable and find common ground. And that can also help you as the presenter or the speaker or the person who's engaging in the conversation to feel much more comfortable as well. So if starting a conversation is something that feels like daunting or a little bit scary for you, have a few icebreakers ready in your back pocket that you can always bring out to get the conversation going. So for example, if you're at an event, you probably have a shared interest with that person. So if it's like a music event for a specific artist, ask them how long they've been listening to the artist. What do they like about them? What's their favorite album? You can also ask them about their recent experiences. Like, have you traveled recently or how did your family spend the summer? And you can also do my favorite thing, which is to give a genuine compliment. I feel like that was a goal that I set for myself at the beginning of this year is that I wanted to compliment people aloud way more often. Whenever I see someone and I like something about them, what they're wearing, the way that they look, or the way that they interact or carry themselves, I always think the positive thing, but I wasn't really saying that to other people. And so I've noticed that just complimenting someone in a genuine way opens up so many amazing conversations. You never know who you're complimenting, who you're meeting, and how much that could impact your life. But overall, if you're creating a friendly and welcoming atmosphere, that is going to help you feel really comfortable, showcase yourself, talk about the amazing skills that you have, and also meet some really great people. Now, sometimes this happens. What do you do if an awkward situation comes up while you are trying to engage in conversation or to work a room? Honestly, awkward moments happen to everyone and they happen really often in social situations. Now, if you feel like the awkwardness was on your part, it's not a big deal. Don't dwell on it, just gracefully navigate and learn from that experience and say, well, next time I'm probably not gonna bring that up and I will be better equipped to have a conversation in this type of environment. Also, like just acknowledging it or using humor is really, really helpful. Like sometimes I'll be introducing two people who I think I know and then I'll introduce the person's name wrong. Again, still working on that. But I'll be like, oh, girl, you know, everybody's name starts with an A. I can barely remember my own name. Or something to like add humor, but then I'm like, I will never forget that person's name again. I'm going to make it a mission of mine to remember their name and be more cognizant and employ my active listening skills. Honestly, though, overall, most people just appreciate your ability to handle these situations with grace. And of course, you will always learn something new that you can use to grow in the future. So as we wrap up, I just want you to remember that kind of growing your confidence and becoming more comfortable and social situations is work. It takes time. It is not always going to be extremely easy, but it is always going to be worth it. So practice the strategies and the tips that I share in this video regularly and don't be too hard on yourself when everything doesn't go exactly how you would like it to. Confidence grows over time. So the more that you put yourself in those social situations, the more comfortable you will feel and the more equipped you'll be to enhance that part of your skill set. So go out there, have fun, have conversations, learn and grow and immerse yourself in a ton of different opportunities. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Please like, comment and subscribe and follow me on Instagram at Affirmations with Amber.